Here's a little story about a man with a shed. He got really bored, so this is what he said. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna get on the radio. So now in his shed, he does a funny show. Broadcasting, that is. Radio Gold. It's pretty funny. Hello, Joe. <laughs> Hi, Bobby. Good morning, Spreaker uh, Internet. And uh, uh, it's, of course, me, DJ Uncle Bobby, and Joe Seeker with you. Uh, and this wonderful, uh, what's today? It's the 16th, but what day is it? Thursday. Thursday morning. Um, beautiful Thursday morning. Beautiful Thursday morning. We do have... Uh, uh, a topic today to, to talk about, of course, and whatever else. Uh, if you ever come in the chat or on Facebook, you want to talk about something else, uh, we could switch gears for a little bit. Uh, Joe Joe usually has things he wants to he likes to change topic on. <laughs> Is there anything you'd yeah. like to get out of the way right now? <laughs> no, I'm good. You're, you're, you're driving, Bobby. You're the stare. Uh, I wouldn't want to steal any of your shot. <laughs> No, it ain't about me or you. I'm just saying I got, we got, you know what we're going to talk about. I'm very excited, actually, about it. Uh, but we have, yes, you forgot, didn't you? But, um, and and also, later on, uh, we might have to do two of these, because yesterday I realized when listening back to the show, we forgot to do the jackass of the day. And we we're basically trying to purposely kill time. We're so burned out, dude. We are burned out bad. Oh yeah, yeah. Your memory's your memory's like a computer. <laughs> so um, so let's let, let's. Oh, speaking the last. Speaking the last. Oh, here we go. Now I'm always reading them sciencey things. Right. Uh, I can't. I know I'm not getting exactly quote the numbers, but the world's fastest computer. Okay. Uh huh. That's why I don't believe that the that the that computers will ever take over the world. In the end, they, I mean, if they do, there's going to be a person behind it programming them. That in when you see the sci-fi movies, it's always it, it, it just most but of them there, they do it on their own. A possibility, Bobby, that technology will reach the point where computers are able to make other computers. And once, if the ability is ever reached that computers have the ability to, 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 think, to free think, like humans do, that's, what, that's the difference between humans and computers. Is computers can only do what they're programmed to do, whereas a human can do whatever he fucking aspires. He can draw ass and, be, be, and have the visions of how to un, un, unravel DNA. Because that's how that happened. So... You know what? So now that you brought this up, this is actually interesting to me, if, if not anybody else. Uh, I have a question for you, Joe. Now, okay. do you think... I'll I give am you... the Shed Show staff, staff uh, math and scientist petition. So. That's right. Do you think that um, uh, it's multiple choice? All right, we'll, we'll do it as a question multiple like choice. this. Multiple choice. That's one thing science is about, is multiple choice. <laughs> the... Uh, the world is most more likely to be taken over by a monkeys, b zombies, or c computers. Which one do you think would be uh, more like uh, more likely choice if one happened? Well, 
Yeah, I mean, you know, let's not get into a scientific debate, a debate about how how we are monkeys and all this. But I mean, uh, you know, I, I I think I threw the monkeys in there because I just watched uh, the uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. And well, that... <laughs> there's no way there's ever going to be a zombie apocalypse where fucking dead people roam around eating. The <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that. That's not going to happen. With the technology and the and the things that, that, that you know, we we all know. I know you're not a conspiracy theorist, and neither am I. But I still think it's possible that that, that the government created AIDS. And if they can create AIDS, the, no, 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 no. <laughs> that's what I I, I believe. I don't mean to offend anybody because this is not what I think. But my grandfather Weatherby told me back in the eighties when eighties. When AIDS first come around, that AIDS is started because the sheep herders, goat herders over in Africa, the tribesmen, get out in the jungle with their goats and they get lonely and they fuck monkeys. And that's how AIDS started. Well, that's what some people believe, and it all started in Africa, and it all started from the Africans fucking the monkeys. But uh, you bring up a good point with the sheep, like. Uh, bestiality's been around in, in every country for as long as so who's to say it had to be the monkeys or the Africans you know I mean I, I, I don't know if I can debate that is there's a movement out there that also believes that early uh, attempts at polio vaccines and stuff that it's a man made thing because of vaccine attempts and shit that would we develop this ourselves, and by fucking with uh, making vaccines, I don't know if I believe that. Of how much I follow that one. What I believe is, is that AIDS is a fucking disease that developed over in the fucking Congos, and the heat of fucking Africa, because fucking that's where everything fucking started. Life, fucking all that shit, man. That's that's the bread basket of everything. That's where all the crazy viruses all come out of fucking everything. So, you're saying no, no zombies, not happening. No zombies. No zombies, computers. and and you're not feel. Computers. If I can't say that humans are, are already the monkeys that took over the world, my pick is computers. <laughs> I mean, there you have it. It's computers. Com if anything's gonna take over this world, it's gonna be computers. I guess I should have thrown because aliens in there. Now, Bobby. So the question is, what's gonna, what do I believe will happen soon? Do I believe that monkeys will evolve into creatures that are capable of running the world? Possibly, but that's gonna take millions of years. Uh, do I believe computer technology can reach the point where they become self-aware and fucking turn on us? That could happen, and I don't believe that would take millions of years, but it does, because if that happens, it's going to be within a couple thousand anyway. Yeah, even if I threw a, uh, the D in there and put aliens, the computers would probably happen before the aliens. Well, no, I would, I would, I would have to, like, you would have to put a fucking like, other answer where you have both fucking like, C and D, because I believe that aliens could show up someday, too. So you think it's a race? A race between the aliens and the computers. I'm a, I'm a real bad fucking stoner, so I get thinking. And I watch that movie all the time. And when you look at space, right, one thing that's constant for that we know about life pretty well is water. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and atmosphere. And it's quite impossible that out there on some other planet there's some other species that fucking fuck their planet all up with fucking mine and coal or all that stuff because elements are elements and chances are there's coal and everything on any other planet that are organic material and shit so they could be out like roaming the they could be out roaming the universe looking for a fucking planet to fucking take over and move on to right but I, I honestly think that's gonna be us we're gonna be the aliens that well, what I'm saying is, is we're gonna be the mean aliens to go fuck with some poor, poor people's yeah, planet and take yeah. their shit over. I don't know that for a minute. That if we had the opportunity, we would do it. But in the scope of the universe, it's been around for billions of years, 
And we know dinosaurs were on the Earth for millions of years, millions of years ago. Like, if something had to happen on the Earth that had it changed and wiped the dinosaurs out and they were still here, it's hard to know what the Earth would be like. So if there's some other planet out there somewhere that had life on it, that never had that catastrophic event millions of years ago, the life on that planet would be evolving for that many more millions of years, unlike Earth. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, we had to start all over. So, they're, yeah, their species could be like, if, what if mammals were on that planet fucking, like, a billion years ago? And mammals have been evolving for a billion years there rather than the, the time frame that they had been here on Earth, is what I'm saying. That's actually interesting, yeah. What would they be like? And then, and then when you go, like, in, even in human society, human history, man has advanced as his technology has advanced with metal. So what if on another planet they developed fucking, you know, steel fucking, even if we started on the same time frame, but they, they figured out how to make iron fucking a thousand years before we did. Or fucking ten thousand, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and they never had the renaissance because over in Europe, in the during the Renaissance era, the fucking religious, the Catholic Church pretty well wiped out all scientific thought. You know, like scientists had to fucking be all secretive where they got fucking killed and shit like that. Jesus Christ! Yeah, like fucking, like that's the way it was. Because it was, it was considered against God. Like, they just talk, like, you look at the fights they have today about fucking shit. Like, that fight was been going on forever. So, fucking, if they never had that religious fucking persecution hold back the scientific fucking advancement all those years then they'd be that much further ahead of us again what if they have a fucking war knowledge based society rather than a war fucking money based society they'd be that much against ahead of us again like there's there's a lot of possibilities smoke more pot and you'll come to these conclusions uh, oh, I, I do, but the problem with me is I forget them uh, immediately after. That's why I, sometimes I write it down, but then I lose the paper, so it never helps. Nothing ever helps. <laughs> so I'm what they call agnostic. Good. I'm a religious views. I, I'm, I'm a, I don't believe in anything that's like religion has shown to me, but if something happens that, you know, I'm certainly willing to change my mind. My, my mind's not closed like an atheist. I'm open. I'm a show me and I'll believe. Well, if, 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 if even with the atheists, if, if, if God came down and said, yo, bitch, you know, I, I, they really could even atheists uh, choose to ignore it. They could only for so long before they realize that, oh, this is a miracle and now I'm a believer. You know what I mean? They can only fucking ignore it for so long. I mean, I know you'd be surprised how, how they just people are stuck in their ways and they have dismiss everything and say, oh, well, that's the, the reason why that looked like it was God. You were, uh, you know, the light, it was in your eyes and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? You know how they try to debunk everything, but in the end, uh, they, they'd have to, they'd have no choice to believe if there was something, you know, like right in your face. Yeah. Scientists say that's because of evolution. Because for thousands of years, we were prey. So our evolution has taught us that when we look at anything, we automatically recognize anything that's similar to a face. Because we're, we're, we're looking for predators in the bush. <laughs> no, seriously, it makes sense when you think about it. Like, so, like, when you look at something... It, you almost instantly recognize a face on anything you look at, right? It's well, yeah. Over the years of being prey, that's from like us looking up from the fucking water hole into the bushes, looking, spotting faces, looking for prey, looking for predators. I just like to like to look at like you talking about like clouds, like when you're looking at the clouds and going, oh yeah, look at that, that could be this, that could be that. Yeah, don't matter what you look at, you, you'll recognize a face. Almost instantly. You can look at a clock, and if it looks a certain way, you think, fuck, that looks like a face. It's because we're, we're programmed to look for, to, to recognize faces in everything we look at. Because we're looking for predators. So whenever we see something that looks like a face, we, like, we're programmed to take, give it automatically give it a second look. 
it's a it's a non thought thing. It's right in us. The same as when our hands get in water, our fingertips fucking prune up and our toe tips and stuff, so we get better we get better grip. Yeah, I remember you telling me that too. I don't know all that. I don't know if I'm on board on all that crap. <laughs> well, no, it's true, Bobby. Because you, you shrivel up because it's the effect of being no, in the water I, too I, long. I, I, we're not made to be in water. Because people that have neurological damage in their fingers and stuff don't shrivel up when they're in water. So if it was a skin-based thing about absorbing water, they would shrivel up. The simple fact that they don't means that it's neurological. You get what I'm saying? I hear you, I hear you. I don't mean to cut you off, but we're, we're already halfway through the show and we got two segments to do. So. This is pretty sciencey for the shit show. <laughs> it's as sciencey as it gets, I promise you that. Uh, let's do the, the, the goddamn, uh, the, let's start the topic that the title of the fucking show is. Now, you might think that Double Dick Day means uh, means the fact that there's two dicks on the radio talking shit. <laughs> but it is not, Joe. It's actually something else. Let's find out. Yes, what is it, break? I would like to extend to you an invitation to the pants party. Party the pants with the pants. Party with pants. Rick, are you saying that there's a party in your pants and that I'm invited? That's it. Years later, a doctor will tell me that I have an IQ of 48 and am what some people call mentally retarded. Rick, are you just looking at things in the office and saying that you love them? Como están, bitches? Spanish language news is here. Rick, where'd you get a hand grenade? I don't know. You jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? Yeah, I stabbed a man in the heart. Picking up and twigging up my appetite. Looking forward to a little afternoon delight. Rubbing sticks and stones together make the sparks ignite. And the thought of loving you is getting so exciting. Sky rockets in flight. Woo! Afternoon delight. You guys have it, I think. Huh. A whale's vagina. <laughs> Alrighty, so today's uh, news is brought to you by HuffingtonPost.com. And it is awesome. Man with Two Penises Answers All Your Questions. Uh, Joe. Yep, on, on Reddit. And this is actually where, on Reddit AMA, which is actually where... um. Where Liz, uh, Auntie Jugs, she's the one that brought this to my attention. Uh, and I found the news yeah, story for it. She, she, I find it strange that she's on the internet looking up fucking men with two penises. But that's, that's her, what I, you know, whatever floats Liz's boat. Well, she was at work and some guy showed it to her. So I, I don't oh, know if that... Well, that makes it all better. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I don't know if that's any better, but... But uh, uh, she was she was intrigued apparently, and, I, and as well as am I, I, I'm interested in this uh, because I didn't really think about the fact that this is possible. I don't, I don't need to uh, see two penises. I, she's like, look at this. This is, a, and I'm, I'm like, oh, I don't want to see that. And then I realized what it was. And I'm like, wait a minute. And so I started looking. I actually looked at that three, three or four different sets of penises. Um, so it's 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 not common, but I mean it happens. It's not just this one guy, but this one guy uh, seems to be. Uh, I don't know if he's making a living off of this, but he's 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 got people's interested. Where he's, you know, he's actually answering questions, and people are asking him all kinds of things and and stuff like that about it. Uh, and as soon as I saw that picture, questions came into my head as well. I don't think you can, you know, curiosity. Is in us. I don't think you can help that. But uh, right away, I'm like, oh, do they both work? You know what I mean? Do uh, uh, can you both can can they both, you know, have happy endings? You know, whatever. You know, and um, actually, one when me, me and me and Andy Jugs was talking about, it, she said uh, the guy said that he actually has to rub one out more than more than normal person would, at least once or twice a day, just because it gets all built up in there. Which I would think you'd have two sacks, so you'd have more room, and you would have to jerk off less. 
but, but I guess you're producing more as well. Oh, so. I, just like you were skiing, but just like milking a cow. <laughs> Fly that you like a sprinkler. I mean, it, 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 you know, and this guy's bisexual, and uh, he does dudes, girls. He does two. He, Danny Jugs was telling me he's done two guys and two girls at the same time, pretty much. You know, uh, so yeah, I mean, I, I don't think it would be a bad thing if I if I woke up, you know, if I was born with two, uh, that would be okay with me. Uh, for as birth defects go, it's not a bad one, I don't think. <laughs> you know. Could be a lot worse. That's all I'm saying. I'd like to be one of the guys that was born with like one of the deformed gigantic fucking cocks. One of the questions are, does your penis lean on the left or right side of your pants? <laughs> oh, these questions are great. I don't know. I don't think I can it's see. It's not a short stubby. It sort of just points straight out. Well, oh, oh, you know, you know, it's embarrassing, but very funny, and I have to tell it. We were talking about this, me and Andy Jugs, and I said, and 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 every picture of every the three or four pictures I saw of, of of the double dick guys with double dicks, um, they were quite impressive size wise. <laughs> and I was saying to her, like, yeah, I don't know if mine would look kind of funny, you know, because you know, yeah, especially soft. You know, they're, they're, you know, they're, you know, they're turtles. And she said, um, yeah, it would look like, it would look like googly eyes. Or something. <laughs> just bush and two little, two little eyes. <laughs> wow. I was like, thanks. Thanks for that. That's crazy. Two little eyes, two little eyes and a bush just peeking at you. <laughs> That's what it would look like. Uh, uh, you know, but whatever. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see what I, hold on to questions are there. Uh, is it just me or does anyone else want to see this in action? Oh God, who wrote that? <laughs> I bet his post sex P looks like one of those lawn sprinklers with 610... <laughs> Multi-directional spouts. Oh, yeah, I mean that's can it can it like pee at the can you pee with them at the same time? Like it's very interesting to me. I, I, that's all I'm saying. Oh my god! Imagine if you were like repeating and then they just like spun around in a circle. Yeah, like a like a friggin' sprinkler. <laughs> you know, you could just flap them around and just fucking start peeing everywhere. Uh, the upside of being his girlfriend, two dicks. The downside, pee on your butt every time you sit on the John. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. You know, not that we're on that topic, you know the bad thing about getting old? What? Your, your, your bed gets right fucking elastic and your balls hang down. And sometimes when you sit on the toilet, they... they, they in the water. Yeah, mine ain't dropped that far yet. <laughs> so, but I've it heard. Will. It will. <laughs> it don't happen every time, but it's fucking creepy. <laughs> um, yeah, I just thought that was interesting. That's good enough with that. Let's bang right into the next one. Uh, one we have, we're still, we're still testing. Uh, but I think it's gonna be once we get the the, the quirks out, it's gonna be our favorite segment ever. It's Donkey of the Day. <laughs> this is called Jackass Team. <laughs> is this is a zonkey? It's a, it's the rarest mount you can get. Okay, here we go. It's time for Jackass of the Day. Actually, the Jackass theme song, guys. It's ja we're, yeah, we're calling it Jackass of the Day here, but uh. We'll, we'll fix that. Uh, it's is it? We got, we got some production problems. Yeah, but well, we're we're tweaking it out. I like to do the I like to do everything, uh, you know, and uh, work out the kinks as we go. I, I like that better. I know it's you don't like pulling yeah. back the curtain, but uh, so. I was saying, I was saying, I was saying, I was saying. 
was I was on Skype with the Queen. She told me she wants to start doing a weekly news segment with us too. Or she picks a news segment and uh, calls it and reads it. So uh, is she we'll is she the zonk of the day? Oh, okay. All right. uh, no, I'm in. I, I like that, too, as well. But I want to know, is it Zonky of the Day, first off? Is that what we're calling it? Yeah, Zonky. Zonky, Zonky of the Day. And um, I, who, who's the Zonky of the Day today? Do we have one? Oh, I didn't know I was supposed to pick one. Well, I, we, you know, usually I think either – well, you're always mad at somebody, so I figure I ask you every time well, we do it. You don't want a zonky punch, Debbie? <laughs> you did yesterday. <laughs> Scared me right off. I came in from smoking my cigarette and I ran for the hills. <laughs> Hit under my bed. <laughs> but, um... Uh, and through the... You know, a lot of times through the episodes, we're going to we're gonna find a probably zonky of the day. Like, if we read a news story, some dumbass is, is doing something stupid or something. But I don't know why I want to... The only news story we did was the was the double dick guy. I don't know if he's a zonky. He's kind of cool, actually. I'm kind of... I kind of look up to him. You know? I still think he'd be better if he had a, a dick in and a vagina and a rapid. I seem like they would have more fun. Well, yeah, because, I mean, who who wouldn't want to do themselves, you know? You could do to yourself, I would think. Well, at the very least, while you're cranking it, you could finger blast yourself. Right, right. But I think that's, that, that, honestly, is that, that's freakier, though. I don't know. I read a book one time called, by, by Dean Coops called The Bad Place. <laughs> and it, it was about the guy who was in the bad place. I love those kind of uh, I love those kind of movies and stuff stories. But the other son was could teleport and uh, had telepathic powers, and he was trying to stop them. And it was a pretty detailed book to explain, but anyway, fucking uh, scary, scary stuff. Why is this scary? It's not real. It is. Oh, well, nice. Yeah, the book ended. Yeah. How the one brother stopped the other evil brother was uh, every time that the good brother would teleport, he would come back like weaker and sort of deformed a little bit more. What what was this called? I should make a movie so I don't have to read the book. I'm still I'm still reading the I'm still I got into this real book uh, this real good book and I forget. Oh my god! Everybody's gonna hate to cut you off. You do it a lot, so I don't think you hate it that much. <laughs> I was listening to the podcast they used to show this morning, and they had this English guy on there, and uh, it was Debbie Daly show clip he was playing, and this fucking on Debbie Daily Show all the time, was supposed to be this genius, was talking about white guilt and stuff, and he started quoting this fucking book, right? and then he made a point, and this English guy that was on there started to laugh, and uh, he said, uh, you know, like, did you read that whole book? <laughs> but he goes, ah, I don't know what difference that makes. <laughs> <laughs> Like 
Any last words, Joe? Legalized cocaine. We should do another show on that. We'll be back in about 10 minutes. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I don't necessarily agree with you, but I appreciate it.